Hello, it's me again. Um, so now that we've uh, trained our model and we've done some visualization on some images, it's time to export it so we can deploy it onto the Xavier uh, NX or the Jetson Nano. So the first thing we do is we go down here to the export section right here and we run this right here. And what this does is we'll go to our Detect Neck folder that we're working in. This right here will produce, will make the experiment directory final folder. And then what happens, it'll create the ResNet 18 detector.etlt, which is right there. It makes that. Then the next thing we do is we come down here. You can check it right here if you want to check it. And then now we need to do int 8 optimization. So the first thing we do is we run this. And this will make our calibration tensor, which is right here. And then we run this right here. This will make our calibration bin file, which is right there. And then once we're done with that, we're basically ready to go. We could take those, and uh, this is the <clears throat> would generate the tensor RT engine, the TLT converter. <clears throat> you can get it right here. What it is is the we have you have to get one that's specific to your jetpack. So I'll show you where to get that. So we won't get this one here. But uh, you know this is a uh, what I'm what I do is it's a good idea is, is, is copy this and uh, take it with us so you have a reference. So that's what I've done here. So we're taking it with us our folder when we take everything. We're going to take this with it, and this is going to reference it. So we'll have a reference. And plus, we're going to take the key also. So now, once we've done that, we're, we're pretty much done with that part. But what happens is uh, you can verify the deployed model, and then you can run inference on it, and then you can also try running images with it also, if you want. <clears throat> Now, NVIDIA has a new uh, part to their transfer learning toolkit. It's the QAT workflow. And what this is, this will enable the quantization aware training feature with the TechNet. So basically what you do is we're going to prune it and then retrain it, and then we're going to uh, export the model to be deployed. So, so we go down here. I've already trained it. I've already pruned it and retrained it. So you can evaluate the QAT model right here. And then we're going to go ahead and export it. So right here, we run this export QAT train model to int 8. And it'll make the calibration QAT bin, which is right there. And then we move on down to, you can evaluate it. And then this one will make the uh, ResNet 18 detector QAT.TRT int 8 file. Oh, I believe we missed this section. This does it. So what we've done is we'll take the calibration QAT bin and we'll make the uh, ResNet 18 detector QAT.TRT.int 8 folder file, which is right there. And then once we're done with that, we just go ahead and we're ready to export it. And you can run inference on it. Now, we're not going to do the conversion on this also. We're going to do it all over in the Xavier uh, or the Jetson. So what I do now is I'll take this folder right here, exper Experimental Directory Final. And I'll go ahead and I'll throw it into my uh, Google Drive. So you've already thrown it in here. And then from this, we're going to pull it down to uh, whatever you want, the Jetson or the Xavier. All right, well, uh, that's it for now. I'll see you on the uh, Xavier NX. Bye. Okay, now we're ready to deploy it on, uh, deploy the model on the, uh, we're going to use a, a Xavier NX. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go get the model. So what I did is I went to my, uh, um, Google Drive and I downloaded uh, 
my, let's see, here we go. I download the experiment directory final that we put on Google Drive. So this has all the, all the, all our, all our work and all our uh, uh, deployment uh, items. So we got that. And then the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need um, the right uh, converter. So to do that, you go to the, uh, I'll put a link to this. You go to the gesture hands, NVIDIA pre-trained models, transfer learning toolkit 3.0 to create gesture based interactions with the robot on the GitHub repo. And you go down here and right about here. This is where you get the converter. Now, uh, uh, that's where you, it depends on what jetpack you're running. You know, 4.4 .4 or 4.5. I have 4.5. So you download that. And you're going to get something that looks like this. Uh, CUDA 10.2. This is, this is the item that you're going to get. So you just go ahead and unpack it. And, you know, and, and this is what you get. You get the converter and the readme text. So I went ahead and I moved that all over to my uh, home folder. So it's right there. And I, I cut the name down a little bit because the name was too long. So then what I did is I added, I took everything out of the uh, uh, experimental directory final and I put it all in here. So what we're going to do is now we're going to create our TRT uh, engines. So I, I've already made the one for the QAT TRT. Then, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do the the we're going to make the just the regular uh, ResNet 18 detector TRT. So the first thing you need to do is you need to give yourself permission for this this uh, folder. So down here, uh, I gave myself permission because this way you can run it without running sudo. And because uh, if you run it with sudo, it, it can't recognize it. So you do this, and it gives you permission to run this folder. And then once you do that, let's open this back up. Um, you, let's see, here we go, right here. So this is uh, what you have to run. So we CD into this. Uh, folder right here this one right here and uh, so we go ahead and we'll let's look at this this is our example we're going to use so what you do is it's a little different since we're not running in the Jupyter notebook we're running in like the the console so it's going to be uh, dot slash TLT dash converter and then uh, it, you need to point it to the and then we need to point it to our folders and our, where we have it so we want the detector .etlt. so that's uh, in here so that's what we do we, we point this to that folder and then the next one is the key nvidia underscore tlt is the key and the next one is the bin file. So we point it to the bin file in here. And then the next one is the output, how, how we want it, you know, what to use to build the output. Sigmoid output underscore BB box bias added. And then we uh, enter the shape that it's gonna be. And then we enter, I'm not sure exactly what all this is. But anyway, we use this as a reference right here. And then uh, we actually tell we want to. Um, this is where I screwed up too. We wanted this to be. I didn't put this in last time. Let's see. Dot trt. So, because it created it, but it didn't put the dot trt at the end. So I kind of messed that up. So now what happens is when you run this. Um, 
it'll run. And I, and I brought this up here. This is the process monitor to show you like this is going to run, but uh, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but it is. So that's why I brought the process monitor up so you can see. And then here's the file. I'm, I'm probably going to uh, uh, cut this part out because it takes about, I'd say it takes about four or five minutes for this process to work. So let's go ahead and start it, and I'll show you um, it's going to start running. Now it sits like this for about four or five minutes doing its thing. So, you know, I'll probably cut this out so you don't have to watch it. And as you can see, it's, it's doing something. That's the only way you know that it's actually doing something. All right. So it's done. That took about five minutes. And uh, it created, uh, what did it create? This. ResNet 18 Detector TRT. Now, what's nice about this? This is just a full-blown engine right here, so you won't have to build it. So, and like I say, uh, you know, it just sat like this for about five minutes. The only way you know that it's going to doing something is by watching the resource monitor. So we're done with that, and we don't need this anymore. So the next thing we need to do is like. Uh, we need to take our models, our engines that were built, and put them in uh, where they're going to be used. So you can grab this one, and this is the other one I, I made. No, this is the other one I made. So this one and this one, copy them, and uh, I put them in the. Let's see. Let's go back here. in the models directory in the primary detector uh, folder like I put them in here because this is where the the models are now the engines are now and so this is the file we're going to be pointing to when we run our our uh, other ones so there's the ResNet 18 detector TRT and the ResNet 18 detector QAT.TRT so they're there so what we do is we have to modify um, our pro our, our our scripts to get them to run. So you go to the configs, uh, deep stream, and the ones we're going to modify uh, we modified this one, and then I modified this. So they these now have to point to the uh, the new engines. So what we did was I have them up here. So, here, let's bring these down a bit. So first we'll start out here. The source 30, this is the one we're gonna run, which is right here. And uh, so what we've done is, uh, this was runs 30 uh, image, er, uh, streams. So I just did it down to one, because I just wanna do one to make this like simple. So what I did is I modified this, the rows and the columns. I enabled this. I tell that I only want one source. And it's going to go get this MP4 uh, file to play. And then I pretty much left, left everything the way it was. Uh, I put the sources here, left it at 15. You know, well, this isn't running, so. So down here, I did batch size of one it's not a live source so that's zero and then the other one is another batch size of one now this is where we point to our new to our new engine so this is where it was pointing and then now we're going to point it to ours the resnet 18 underscore detector dot trt so we you have to change that 
that's pretty much it right there on this one and then the other thing to do it also goes for the config file it goes looks at the config infer primary dot txt it looks for that so we got to modify that also so we go over here this is the config infer primary dot txt file and what we do is we have to tell it you know how we want to build the engine well we it's already built we built it already so we don't need all this stuff to compile the new engine so I just uh, you know uh, mark this all out so it doesn't use that doesn't use that and it's just pointing at the resnet 18 underscore detector trt that we created from the, the the converter that came from our uh, uh, training that we did with the transfer learning toolkit on the cloud we still need the label files because we, we don't need labels we don't need an N8 uh, calibration file because that that was this was all done with the uh, converter, and then other than that, we just leave everything else alone. So basically, we're just pointing it at the label file and the uh, engine, uh, the engine, and that's all. If you go back up here, models, saying look in here because we put this all in here. Like that it used to look for this one. Now it's gonna look for this one. So once once you're done with that, just go ahead and CD into um, your uh, folder here, the configs folder, deep stream, which I've done right here. Uh, bring up uh, this folder because this is the one we modified. Like this, deep stream, a dash app dash C and run it now this is running the engine that we converted from the transfer learning toolkit so you can see it runs just fine um, we're running 33 frames a second so uh, you know it's it's uh, you know you're ready to retrain everything you want and and deploy it you know it deploys pretty easily what's nice about it is once you the converter converts it over that's all you need that is your new engine so all right well uh, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in uh, so uh, hopefully this helps you guys you know be able to do the process from start to finish and I do have some other uh, videos on my website that shows you how to get images from uh, I think it's the Google image directory and convert those to uh, the what you'll need to train in the transfer learning toolkit. All right. Well, thank you very much and good luck, everybody.